Hi, it's Jennifer. So, as promised, I'm going to be doing my jewelry collection today. Um, I am in college, so it's in this toolbox. It's easy to take back and forth from my house and school. Alright, so here's my earring stand. I'll show you this real fast. Um, I have most all of my earrings on it. I got the stand from um, Urban Outfitters. is like about $30, I want to say. It's really cool. I have some pretty cool earrings on here. I have a lot of um, vintage jewelry that I got from a, a woman's estate sale. It's some pretty cool stuff. Um, like these earrings, um, they're actually from the 70s. My mom and my grandma gave them to me. Like any of those types. And the yellow ones and these right here. And. Okay, so that's pretty much my earrings. If there's anything in particular that you want to see or know about, just let me know and I can post pictures or something else like that. Alright, and I actually do have some jewelry that I bought recently at Forever 21. I love that place. So I'll just kind of do a mini haul too. Um, those are earrings from Forever 21 that I got a while back, but anyways. Alright, so the first pair of earrings I got are these. They're blue and red. Very pretty colors. I tend to buy a lot of blue, so <laughs> there's that pair. And if you want to know the price, they were $380. Right. And then the second pair I got. I looked on the website. Um, I was going to get some more jewelry. These are actually the Navajo pair. And they're red and blue, kind of like Indian inspired. And then on the back, it's these were three eighty. Right. Um, on my vacation, I got stuff at SeaWorld, and so this is the bracelet that I got. Oops, it's way too close. There's a seashell and a starfish and a seahorse and a little turtle. Got that. SeaWorld, obviously. And this is also from SeaWorld. It's a necklace, but it's a uh, mood changing one. So it's a little mood changing seahorse. It's pretty cool. My boyfriend got it for me. Alright, it's bad. And then I also. Oops, these two are stuck together. I've worn the pair of earrings, so they're kind of stuck. There you go. Alright, mm. right, I got this necklace and it's a little cassette tape. It was really cute. I just really liked it a lot. And it was only a dollar fifty. So check those out. Although I didn't see any of that on the website, so I'm not sure. Alright, and these are the absolute favorite thing that I got. So I don't remember what the price was because I already threw the tag away. But they're little dangly earrings and they have little birds on them. Really cute. Alright, that's it for the haul. Alright, and then here's what I keep my jewelry in. I just decorated it. My roommate had one like this, and so I put my name on it, so be more personalized. Alright, so here's the top layer. Um, up here I keep the stuff that I wear most often, personally, pretty much. And But then I have like the pin stuff too, because I needed the bigger things. And here's my jelly watch that I got recently. I just love the color. Alright, so I have, I have some pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to kind of pick things up. My favorite things are things that are vintage, so... Alright, I have to show you this ring. It's my absolute favorite. Okay, let's see if I can get any closer. It has a little rose on it, but... It's right, it flips over. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. And, like, the band is adjustable. That's one of the things I got from the lady that was selling all the vintage jewelry, so... Good luck finding another one, but hopefully it'll catch on. I have some kind of cheaper ones that I got a long time ago. I think that came from Route 21. Um, like this necklace and the little one that says love. I got both of those from a merchandise outlet store and they were only a dollar piece but they were originally from Forever 21 so I think I kind of have a pattern. Um, some pretty cool, I have a lot of rings. Most of the rings I got were from the lady that was selling on Vintage Joy. I guess I can get closer. But a lot of these were still in the boxes, of course I kept them, but like this one, I can't find it online at all. 
but a lot of the stuff that was vintage, it was Sarah Coventry. So if you just Google it, you can look around and see some of the stuff that she sold back then. Um, these two boxes are my special jewelry. It's the stuff that I've gotten for anniversary presents. And this one, I'm pretty sure it came from Avon. I have like a little sparkly bracelet and it has little earrings to match it. I just like keeping the boxes. <laughs> Usually he surprises me, like he'll show me this little black box and I start freaking out because I'm worried he's about to propose to me or something, but it just ends up being necklaces. Okay, and then this one he had made for me. It's someplace in Texas, I think. But it's pretty cool. It has my name on it, of course. Alright, and so when you expand it, and it almost falls over almost every time. Okay, there we go. And I have some more in here. Let's kind of do like an overview of this one. Um, I have more of my junkie jewelry in here, but I wear this one a lot. That one was also the stuff that I got from the Russian Dance Outlet. It's a necklace. Alright, and then I have some pretty cool ones. Like, that was from it. And right after I got all these, it started catching on with a little dangly. Oh my gosh, it's broken. Uh-oh. Anyways, um, let's put that aside. Get that fixed. And I have some of these down here. Um, I found a fish one too. I thought the fish was pretty cool. And then there's like an owl bracelet back there too. I'm gonna dig it out. Um, I also got um, some of the jewelry like from when I was a kid. Like I still have my little Snow White and Seven Dwarfs bracelet. <laughs> I know that's pretty silly, but it's still in here. Or, well, it's in here because I put it in here. Um, these were my mom's bracelets, and the elastic is really gent or really breakable, so I'm afraid to wear it. Alright, so these are some more of them. Um, this owl I actually got from somewhere else, but this owl is actually the vintage stuff. Like, it looks like it's broken, but it's not. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And then, of course, I have one of the little swallow necklaces. I'm pretty sure everybody has one of those. And I have no idea where this came from, but it's one of my favorites too. I have some fake pearls from Walmart. <laughs> um, that's about it for this for this layer. And down here in the bottom is pretty much just a mess. I have things my mom's bought me from her workplace. Um, she's like, yeah, look, you could have wore this to prom, but it was after prom, so it didn't really do me any good. Um, just some random jewelry that she's bought me from stores. And down in there I have some other stuff. Some things I've made, but um, I also, I don't have any but like this one in here. But I have a whole bunch of the Bakelite and the Lucite bangles from the 70s. And it's pretty cool. I was going to get those out, but um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to know anything about any of my jewelry, just let me know. This is pretty much how I keep it organized. It's not very organized, but it kind of is, I guess. Um, but that's it for today. And just subscribe, and I'll link anything that needs to be linked in the down bar. Alright, thank you.